One of the most interesting questions about the SGLT2 inhibitors is how is it that cardiovascular risk is reduced by these agents? There are the straightforward potential answers, like it lowers glucose because it's associated with uh, loss of, uh, of glucose in the urine, losing calories. It is associated with weight loss. It's also associated with a reduction in blood pressure. But the benefit seems to be greater than would be expected by those sort of modest effects on classic cardiovascular risk factors. Um, it has been suggested that a number of mechanisms might be operative, one being that these drugs um, increase the uh, amount of ketone bodies that circulate. And these ketone bodies um, are important fuels, uh, particularly for uh, the heart um, and for the brain um, and for the kidney. Um, and um, there is a greater efficiency uh, when um, tissues use ketone bodies as a fuel as opposed to using um, glucose or fatty acids. Um, and that efficiency uh, might, uh, might really translate into uh, particular benefits in the ischemic heart, um, in the injured brain, um, or uh, the failing kidney. So that's, a, that's an idea that's, that's out there now. Um, I'm not sure that's the answer because the increase in ketone bodies is really uh, pretty modest, but um, it's certainly one of the possibilities. Uh, the other is that uh, perhaps it's a, more of an osmotic effect, a diuretic effect. I think there is some evidence that that's not really the mechanism. Some, um, some suggest that it might be an anti-inflammatory effect. Um, I think we really don't know what the, what the mechanism is the benefit is, is really shockingly large, um, and it is, uh, it is of great interest to figure out how this large benefit occurs because perhaps we can target those pathways more directly.